on a lot. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stenzel and Mendy here. And this is really about mothers and daughters and talent and moms who want to empower their daughters. So it's a great message. Uh, we have here in the house the hosts and cast of Sonic Pop Live right here at WMCN. It's a, a new kids variety show with positive messaging. You're going to love it. It will be premiering right here on WMCN TV. So let's uh, introduce to the show Bonnie Wolf, who is the director of Sonic Pop Live, and her beautiful daughter Maisie Wolf, who is the host of Sonic Pop Live. It's so great to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here, Dawn. So, what is it like to work with your mom, being the director? Well, it's pretty cool because she helps me out a lot more, and it's great because my mom does a lot for me. Like what? Does a lot. She actually, she helps me out with my hair, and she's very good at hair, <laughs> which, is, which is a good little thing, I can say. You know, we think about mothers and daughters, and you think about media images and all of that. And I know, Bonnie, for you, this is something that was your dream even before you had your only child. Right. When you were a young woman, you thought, I want to have a children's show. Sure. I always wanted to have a kid's television show. And um, I worked in marketing and promotions for many years, writing and creating and developing ideas. Um, and all of the years passed, and I woke up one morning at 50 years old. I said, you know what? I'm just going to do it. That is, I, and I love that message that you said, I'm going to do this, and I can do it. So from there, and I want to get back to, though, your childhood a little bit, Bonnie. When you were a little girl, or maybe Maisie's age, when you were 12, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, it's funny because everyone always used to say, you're going to be famous, you're going to be an actress. My school teachers, my aunts, my uncles, because I love the stage and the limelight. So I thought that I may be an actress at one time, but as the years passed, um, you know, that never happened. So what's it like now to be directing not just any kids in, in, in a children's show, but your daughter, her best friends, all these wonderful children. What is that like for you? It's the most rewarding feeling that anyone could ever have in a lifetime. With the love I have for children, I mean, I always, I always said I would have a children's orphanage one day. <laughs> I love, that's how much I love children. So being on the set with 30, 40, 50 children at any given time, it's and looking at their happy faces and their parents calling me saying, you've made my child so happy making their dream come true. Um, I, I can't explain it. Oh, it's, just, it. Just having you all and all the kids here in the green room has been, it's, it's like a, an infusion of energy, positive energy, so it's a lot of fun. So what is Sonic Pop Live? What's the focus here? What's it about? Well, Sonic Pop Live is really an organic kids show that the kids are unconnected no computers, no iPhones, and we're taking the kids back to fun. Um, we're what are they doing here in the, the previous shot? So they're... Oh, okay, so here we're at the art museum, and he, this is uh, Love Shack at uh, Bernard's Hair Salon, one of our sponsors. <laughs> here we're at Jones Steven Star's restaurant doing the Taste of the Flavors segment where the kids are blindfolded and they're tasting different foods. So they're just kids having fun in different settings, but being kids. Absolutely. And that's something that nowadays kids are, you know, growing up so fast. And this is kind of saying, be a kid, have fun. It is. It is. It's giving them, it's, our kids are giving other kids ideas of lots of fun, organic things to do out there and how to make culture experiences fun. And do you think that nowadays, too, with the Internet, um, kids might not have the social skills that Maisie, that Maisie might have. In other words, you're saying connect with kids. That's correct, and that's another reason. Um, I have a real issue, and, and as Maisie knows, we're always saying too much texting, too much texting, and Maisie actually wrote a song called Get Off Your Cell Phone, uh, which is really funny. Um, there, there's a problem Was she, was she writing it to mom phone. or the other actually, kids? Actually, she was writing it to me. <laughs> it was, right? But we're always saying it to our kids as well. Um, yeah, so I think this is, this is a, a great example of kids with good socialization skills out there having fun, communicating, unconnected. Which is, which is a lot of fun. Kids unplugged. And we're going to show different kids um, and, and have you on with your best friend. But, you know, Bonnie, I want to ask you as a mom, there's always this instinct to protect your child. And your daughter's on a stage. She's a performer. She's a writer. She's a singer. How do you protect her from maybe some forces that are going to see her on Facebook or television or what have you. Right. Um, I believe it's really the same for a kid that's on the, on 
TV or not, we're always 24 hours a day, we're on guard. We're watching our kids. When our kids are sleeping, we're checking out their Facebook account <laughs> and they're texting and questioning our kids at any given time. Um, so whether she was on it or not, I would still I would still be a little bit psycho with watching her every day and night and every move. Well, which is great advice to every parent that that, that we always do have to you know watch our kids because with the social media nowadays, the kids every kid is out there. It, it it's so important, and I've even called other parents in a very nice way when I may have seen things on my daughters texting and said, just by the way. Yeah, which and, is a great heads and up. And I appreciate that they call me too. I'm not offended by that at all. Yeah. I like when they call me. I'm the same way. Well, Bonnie, thank you so much. We're going to continue telling you about Bonnie's creation, Sonic Pop Live. All the kids, uh, kids who are battling bullying, you're going to love it. Stay right there as the Dawn Show continues.